Hi guys, we're going to install another Arch Linux system. If we launch our tweak tool, we want to have a tweak tool that is applicable on anything Arch Linux based. And here are a few lines, of distros on which it's going to work. And all of these guys are have been tested, but Amon Ray is has stopped with his development. So this line will be deleted. And these are spin-offs. So we learn you how to build ISOs in Linux B, on ALCI, on the riser. These three combined, then you have all the knowledge you need to build your own distro. But afterwards, it's maintenance, it's answering questions, it's a lot of work, and then people may stop doing that. So Amon Ray has decided not to make to pursue making ISOs anymore. So this one's going out and I thought what's going in and I saw on this tube that there was no on, on the distro watch that there was a new uh, Archman and Arch is indeed eh? Archman is an Arch Linux based system from Turkey. So I've downloaded it and um, we're gonna install it and this could be the next supported distro. So super F7, let's install it. Let's see if that works and how we can continue. So I need to clone this. Uh, Control A, Archman, finish. It's downloaded. It's downloaded in Archman. Voila, start. And off it goes, hopefully. Now, there are two options. Either I can say to VirtualBox, mimic me an old system or mimic me a new system. It makes more sense maybe to mimic a new system. So this little thing goes on there, activate it, and then we see no colors, no colors means UFI. So choose these guys. I am on VirtualBox, so NVIDIA is not needed. And off we go. By the by, um, Calamar is used. So that's always interesting if you do want to learn about is I, building distros and all that. Then Calamar is, is, of course, a great tool. It's free, it's open source, and it gets the work done. You can change it any way you see. Take a look at different uh, layouts, and you'll see that indeed you can actually make the design incredibly uh, well personal. So American English, yes, please. Thank you. Next, Brussels, sure. Belgian keyboard, fine. Next, erase disk, cool. What will it be? It will be X4. There's no choice there, right? X4, it says. So ButterFS and all that, not possible. Not in this stroke. There is, of course, a workaround if you know a little bit about Calamars, but that's not the intention of the video. That has been explained already also in other videos well the toho log won't do anything if you do not launch it as a, a debugging so this is not launched as debugging so hence no log let's pause the video and wait all right that's done restart now and then we'll have a look and then phase two comes in. How do we get the Arch Linux tweak tool on Archman? So this is Grub. And there we are. So a quick look around. Um, sure, sure, let's go over these. Okay, now accessories. Check, education, games, chess and Chromium B. I can recommend Chromium BSU as so fun space shooter, so easy and uh, fun. Pigeon is there and you get multimedia called Libet, Libet, no idea what Xfalso is, what's that, track numbers, rename, tags for pile, okay, so changing probably music elements, 
tax in it. Office, okay, science settings. Come to think of it, I do recognize these icons. <laughs> Uh huh. Here's the Visual Studio Image Writer. So you always have to make a choice. What application will I use? We use MinStick, and after 10,000 uh, burns on my USB, it has never failed me. And that's the software you want. It has never failed me. But maybe SUSE is just like that because, in the end, it's a workflow thing, right? It's a personal thing. Let's have a look at the. Uh, this one appearance nordic dark so that's the these colors here and the icons are indeed surfing icons thank you for using them at least somebody uses them so call it dark nord dark light win arc dark arc plus shadow x arc white so different kind of themes by default it was this voila let's um, end the video here although i do need to update so pamac is there 10.4.3.1 and i need to update my system firewall is also installed linux kernel coming in so let's do that together and then Let's stop the video. Control T. Let's see if NeoFetch is installed. Maybe they have a nice logo. Sudo pacman minus S. NeoFetch. Sure. NeoFetch. That's that. Maybe screen fetch. Nope. So, voila. It's not the original logo, I think. From them. No, I'm sure. <laughs> Should be something like this, right? Never mind. Updating, Control T. Update, of course, is not gonna. Wow, update is gonna work. It's an alias that is there. Cool. Let's have a look at the alias. So, aliases is the first thing I always check. So, bash RC, open it up and have a look. And we have here pack. Can I make this bigger? Come on. Bigger zooming, zooming, control plus, control shift plus. Options make this bigger. Well, so update is indeed this one. The mirrors is there, upgrade is there, unlock is here, clean is here, remove AOR, AOR no, confirm. Okay. Voila. Uh, change cancel well no then and in the meantime he's doing his thing so what do we get in uh -huh. Linux we need to reboot uh, and there's the MB Samba is here as well Samba client all right this is a machine that has been well, the ISO has been created a few days ago, so it's normal that there's not that much to update. And the Broadcom WL is there as well. Okay. So, here we are. Pseudo reboot, and if that works, pseudo reboot then the next video will be let's see if the arch Linux 3 tool can change things and play around with it and then we can add it to the list as supported all right we're all up and running let's pause this video well stop this video and start a new one